Welcome back and let's get ready for a 21 hour ferry ride from Barcelona, Spain to Civitavecchia in Italy right outside Rome. So we'll be on this giant ferry and going across thousand kilometers of water, uh, riding through the night into the sunrise onto the next day, uh, beautiful calm seas, uh, a very comfortable large room with an ensuite bathroom that we're going to check out. Uh, as we leave Barcelona behind and head across the water towards Rome. So join us as we take the ferry from Barcelona all the way across the Balearic Sea. We're going to pass right between Corsica and Sardinia, uh, close enough to really get a good look at both, and head into Civitavecchia, which is just 40 minutes car ride uh, across from uh, up from Rome. So why, why do this? Uh, it's a 1,274 kilometer drive. And if you take into consideration the, the fuel consumption, um, the tolls, it comes out to 235 uh, euros. And there are two of us traveling. Uh, this Via Michelin tool is really fantastic. Uh, breaks out that fuel consumption, uh, the tolls individually. Uh, and if you're one person or two, it, you know, it gives you a a nice per person cost breakdown um, but here we are looking at my ticket you know ferry passage for two of us um, the Mazda CX-3 that we drive a cabin with a king-size bed and a full bathroom with a shower uh, we bought these tickets through directferries.com which is you know really great um, and after doing the analysis of this cost it came out to 262 euros because we're taking away that 11 there for the the breakfast and ended up being almost the same as uh, the Michelin tool suggested for the, the fuel and tolls. Well, so how was it? How was the trip? And, and I got to say, there's some mixed feelings. I mean, you, you get there and you know, the boat's fantastic. And we used to live in Seattle and ride ferries all the time. So, uh, but this is a huge ferry with multiple car layers, uh, levels, and uh, probably space for a couple thousand people. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's the Cruise Roma ship. Um, for those not driving on, uh, there's this um, walkway that'll take you over. Uh, we did have a little problem boarding because, as you see there, there's so many cars, brand new cars, and they had to be driven on. And we actually were over an hour late boarding with no real uh, communication. You see more of these cars just sitting there. Um, but finally, it was time. And, uh, you know, it's it's really great driving onto a ferry. I, Took the train ferry down in um, from Italy to Sicily when I was young. I, we lived in Seattle and rode the ferry every day, sometimes with our cars, sometimes without. Um, but, you know, it's really great coming into this giant hall and seeing, you know, these uh, engine cars, you know, just driving trucks uh, on there and putting them in place. And, um, yeah, excuse the bumps. I don't, don't have a good enough camera for that destabilization, but uh, there are a lot of these bumps on the ground here that you can see that you have to get over. And I think those help the truckers uh, when they come in, turn around, and back, literally back into the spots. Uh, so we got to drive all the way up to the top level where um, a lot of those brand new cars had been parked already and, and where we were going to park our car. Um, and again, just looping around, and then we backed into the spot. And, and it was pretty easy to, to get the car in and, and just get get boarded. You know, we were late, but it was fine. And then it was time to, to pull out. And they did make up the time, but uh, this is the top deck. Um, of course, it's a February crossing. It's not going to be as crowded. It's not going to be, you know, weather where you can use the pool. You know, the pool had been drained. Um, and, and here's a look at our cabin. Uh, basically, a king bed plus a, a fold-out sofa and a drop-down uh, bunk, uh, plus the bathroom here, which had uh, a shower, toilet, sink. Uh, so really big room, a little bit loud with the heating, air conditioning system, but we were able to Many dial that. Hours later. Many hours later. And then, you know, we woke up to a wonderful uh, sunrise, and we were able to, to have this incredible view of this calm seas, um, you know, we slept a good eight, nine hours, you know, up till nine in the morning, had breakfast, which was a little weak. Um, the boat's basically so empty that they're running a skeleton crew. And 
later on in the trip we saw how how much of a problem that was but you know gorgeous you know time for a crossing you know see, seeing the sunrise like that um seeing how calm the ocean was just absolutely fantastic weather for for a cruise um back to the skeleton crew um the restaurant food was also bad um people were smoking in the casino room and the doors were open and the smoke was coming out and people were vaping in regular areas open areas and that wasn't really great either so there there were some some issues there that we had to deal with all right so let's summarize here a little bit um pros and cons uh one of the big pros it's 21 hours 815 kilometers um you can relax and you don't have to drive uh, the 266 euro cost all in um, was about the same as as driving would have been even though you really should count another hundred for the hotel and other meals um, that you would have had to do because i don't know 1200 kilometers is uh, something that everybody can do in one day so i'm figuring it's a two-day driving trip for most people um, the stateroom was spacious and clean, and uh, the ship was really not crowded off-season, although that leads into some of the comms that there were poor communications during loading. Nobody knew when the boat was going to go. Nobody knew what we were waiting for. Nobody could say. Um, there was no info when we got onto the ship. Uh, you know, where's our stateroom? What, how do the number systems work? Because they weren't consistently numbered cabins. And from where you came in from the car park um, to go, you had to actually go all the way to the other end of the ship on a different level to find a desk where people could um, give you some information. There were two people on duty uh, for the whole ship. Um, and that, of course, became another problem because the ticket we were issued in the terminal uh, didn't work opening our door. So once we found out where the room was, went back, the door didn't open, had to go back, get a new uh, key card. Um, and go back and then we finally got into the cabin and things were okay after that um, the food in the restaurant was really kind of lousy and expensive um, I know it's a ship but and it's a ferry not a cruise ship so cut them some slack when you think of it that way off season you know skeleton crew it really they weren't they weren't trying all that hard let's put it that way um, and the food was really expensive for what you got I mean 17 18 euros I think it was for a plate of five ravioli that's too much especially when the ravioli are just lousy quality um and the smoke situation was was really not okay um to to have that much smoke um cigarette smoke i mean uh, be be in the air and people just vaping everywhere um especially at the end when we we got kicked out of our our rooms about an hour uh, hour and a half before arriving in, in Civitavecchia by Rome. Um, and everybody congregated in, in one space near one of the, the coffee shops uh, and seating areas. And um, again, the vaping was going on in there. And um, there was only one bathroom open. All the other bathrooms had been locked. And by the end of the trip, um, I guess for the people who sat in seats and didn't have state rooms, by the end of the trip, the bathrooms were horrific. Um, so there really there was no effort made whatsoever to to try to keep those clean uh, throughout the voyage i mean 21 hours is it's not you know a two-hour run across a, a a small strait or something this is a 21 hour you know trip over 800 kilometers 500 miles so uh, they really could have done uh, better with that so all in all i think it was it was fun to try it i don't know if i'd be in a big hurry to to go back and and try it again although maybe for one of the shorter runs out to you know sardinia or corsica um but the whole way across uh, i can't see myself doing that again anyway hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye